So we came up with this really awesome idea that all of us should introduce ourselves a little bit more, whether it be to our followers, whether it be to our clients, um, you know, or anybody who's really just browsing our social media or our pages. Uh, and I'm going to take one for the team and I'm really going to go first here. So my name's Ashley. I have been with Feldman Physical Therapy now for about a year and a half. Um, actually a little bit longer than that now, which is a l super exciting. Uh, I grew up right here in the wonderful Hudson Valley. I grew up right in Dutchess County in Wappingers. Uh, I'm a 2008 graduate from Ketchum High School. And I know for everybody else around me, high school may seem like a distant thing in the past and it does for me too. And for some it's more than others. Um, you know, I think I'm 12 years out now and it feels like forever ago, but I know there's people out there who are 20, 30, 40 years out. And I can only imagine what that feels like. I will be there one day. So, We've come up with a kind of line of questions, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna try my best not to miss the questions. I'm gonna give you all the answers so you don't necessarily have to go through and read. Um, and I'll try to keep it a little bit light, uh, lighthearted here. So the first question we have after where did we grow up is what was my first injury? When, when did it happen? When did you remember it? And I was nine years old trying to run from Vassar Road Elementary School to Kinry Road Elementary School, if you're familiar with the setup. Uh, and we went to go run through the woods, which I don't think was necessarily allowed, but we were at a picnic and uh, went and jumped over a log and ended up falling in a hole and spraining my ankle. And that was the first time I was ever really injured in my life. Um, and you know what, it took me out of sports and took me out of soccer for a little bit. So that was kind of a bummer. And you know what I never did? I never went to PT. So. Uh, you know, I think about that now and could it have helped? Maybe. Uh, so that is first injury. Third question here is what made me want to become a physical therapist? And this is definitely a loaded response because there's so many different things. Um, you know, first things first, my stepfather, when I was probably 15, said to me, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm going to see this PT and I think like you should think about this. It might be a good idea for you one day. And I can tell you that man has gone through so many different bouts of physical therapy in his life, uh, racing, you know, motorcycles, racing dirt bikes, doing enduros, bull riding, really anything that you can think of that adrenaline junkies do. Um, and who would know that less than a year later, I would end up in PT for over a year uh, going through my own ACL rehab. And at that point in time, I fell in love with the profession. Um, my PT was not only somebody who got me back to doing what I loved, but somebody who really, you know, pushed me forward and made me trust myself again. Uh, did I ever really necessarily get back to performance standards that I wanted to? No. So that's also another real big reason why I ended up doing what I do. Um, I want people to get back to doing what they love and not just get their toes in the water. I want them to jump back in and be prepared to go. So that is why I do what I do and I love what I do. So question number four is what are some other professions that I would do or what is, what is the other profession I would choose if I wasn't a PT? Uh, I always give three answers and they may be a little different, but number one is an event planner. I love planning things. I was a, I was a student activities coordinator at my college. I planned all events on campus and I just found it to be so much fun. Um, so that's number one. Number two, big shock, forensic medical examiner. Um, I have always been intrigued by forensics. My stepfather was a detective growing up and I just thought that it was one of the coolest things trying to put together the pieces of a puzzle. Um, and medical examiner, I will say cadaver lab in PT school was one of my favorite classes ever. Um, just learning more about the human body and kind of, you know, digging deeper into people, um, literally, but I don't really mean it that way, uh, was pretty awesome. And the third one that I think can still be in my future is a college professor or teacher. Um, I love helping people and I love helping people learn and getting out and talking in front of people is one of those things that I say, hey, you know what, I can do this more often. So those are the three things that I would try to choose. Uh, number five, the big one. One thing most people don't know about me is basically where my second home is. Um, I grew up as an oval go-kart uh, racer right here when Poughkeepsie Speedway was open and I was pretty good at it. Um, till this day, I can still give some, some of those professional racers a, a run for their money on a go-kart track. Um, and racing is just something I love to do. I have a need for speed. I love to jump on the simulator we have in my house. Um, it's something that I haven't been able to do as much as I'd like, uh, but you know what, I'm around it and I'm surrounded by it. And this is my helmet 
and yes it fits uh, and I've used it quite a bit but so many lessons that I've learned throughout my life have come from being at a racetrack and there's so many people I can thank for getting me to be where I am today because of the lessons and the things they taught me being whether it be at a dirt track whether it be at a, a road course pavement track um, drag strip all the above you never really know so racing my second life and if there's any racers out there who are curious or have back pain or neck pain feel free reach out and give me a shout all right uh, number six question number six actor I would like to play me on SNL and the answer will always be Tina Fey because I love Tina Fey um, she makes me laugh and she kind of just lightens the mood sometimes so she's she's definitely who I would pick so my favorite sport to watch on TV that I've never played would also include a helmet that would be ice hockey uh, I never really gave ice hockey a thought growing up I obviously was around the racetrack and uh, playing soccer those were my two livelihoods but as I grew up and started watching some more hockey, I said, yeah, that could have been something that I got into. I think uh, contact is something I need in my life. And I stopped playing or I stopped doing ballet the second class I ever tried. So definitely that type of activity was not for me. So yeah, ice hockey, I think, is right up my alley. Uh, guilty pleasure. Anything to do with chocolate? Uh, I'd say my two biggest favorites are dark, dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And then the other one would be dark chocolate uh, infused with espresso beans and coffee. Obviously, everybody knows I love coffee. If you haven't learned that, then here you go. Um, if you ever want to deliver coffee to the office, feel free. Uh, really any type. Just I just need a black cup of coffee, whether it's iced or, uh, or hot. So feel free. Uh, and those are my guilty pleasures when it comes to food. All right. Next one. This is a fun one. Sport that you think would give you the best chance of making the Olympics. Um, also includes a helmet and that would be, I think, bobsledding. I think I'd give myself a good, I'd have a good chance if I really learned the sport. I mean, I'm quick, I'm small, I can get into small spaces fast. Um, and being in a go-kart, I've learned how to use my body to maneuver that cart around to kind of corner a little bit better. So I think bobsledding is right up my alley. Um, luge, I, I like team sports, so that's why I chose bobsledding. All right, next one what is your favorite way to exercise? All right, there is nothing better than lifting up a heavy barbell from the floor. Um, I love to lift weights, but on top of that, being an ex-soccer player, I also love to go on a run and I really do love to go on long bike rides. Um, or you know what, even just go on a hike. So kind of a jack of all trades, I love doing it all and I can't really choose one, but if I had to do one more often than not, it would probably be lift weights because it just makes you feel like you've accomplished something, especially when you hit that new uh, rep max. So there's that. Um, least favorite food. It's another one to tackle. Uh, pretty generic answer here. Anything to do with liver, liver and onions, liver pâtés not a big fan. I uh, don't really know why my parents love it. Uh, I can't really get into it. I'm really not picky uh, other than I really won't eat anchovies or really much liver. This is a good one too. Favorite breakfast food. I love breakfast. I love potatoes. I love omelets, Greek omelets. I love chicken and waffles, probably one of the better ones. Um, if you ask Ask Justin, does Justin I live with? My fiance is also Justin, so I don't confuse anybody. Uh, he'll tell you that I should probably say potatoes because I'm gonna turn into a potato one day because I just love potatoes. Um, simple answer there, I'll eat any of those. Um, question 13, we're moving along. I know it's a lot, but a uh, place that I want to visit that I've never been to and simple answer, Machu Picchu. I really would love to go. I think it's beautiful. I've seen so many pictures and I uh, hope one day I do get to go. Um, because it would just fulfill something that I've always wanted to do. Um, question 14, hardest class I took in PT school? Mode to anything to do with modalities. I just hated learning about it. Um, there's a place and a time for it for certain clients and patients, but uh, it just was never something that really interested me. I wanted to learn more about physiology and the hands-on techniques and the way to really get people better without having to stick some pads on them or use an external device. And like I said, sometimes it's needed. I'm not 100% against it, but it's rare that you'll see me use them. Uh, all right, next one, highest altitude. Uh, highest altitude I've ever been to. 
uh, is really just flying on a plane. So 35,000 feet. I don't really have any fun stories like John and Justin probably do about climbing a mountain or being on a ski slope. Skiing's not my thing. Um, I'll get on a snowmobile in the winter. You can see my affinity for wearing helmets and motorsports. But yeah, just flying on a plane, flying to France, flying to California. I like to travel. I uh, travel to a lot of racetracks. I keep moving the helmet up. All right, two questions away from being done. I know this is long, but uh, first job, lemonade stand on my property at my parents' house. That was my first job. Really, first other real job is I really babysat most often. Um, babysat throughout high school and even played nanny in college. Uh, gave me some flexibility with my schedule to still focus on study and make some money in the meantime. And last but not least, uh, most important question here is my favorite part about being a physical therapist. And I think the one reason why I went into PT was how multifaceted this profession is. There's so many different things we can do, so many areas we can practice in um, that a lot of people don't know about, whether it be cardiopulmonary, um, working with people's hearts and lungs and getting them back up to capacity, whether it be neuro, like neuro PT, uh, neurological studies, or whether it be orthopedics or women's health. There's a lot of different things that we can do and there's a lot of ways we can help people. And I've mainly focused on sports and ortho the past several years, but there's so many other, um, you know, things that go into sports and orthopedic physical therapy that allow me to help people even that much more. Uh, the other parts are really, I just love helping people get back to doing what they love. And I think that's the most important part is if we can see somebody struggling um, and really see them make small gains and continue to make gains as they, as they progress and get better, there's no better feeling than seeing an athlete or even say somebody post stroke, getting back to doing something they love, um, empowering people, making them feel like it's not the end of the world. And, you know, I really just love that feeling. So that's a little bit more about me, guys. The two, two guys of the team are going to be coming up next. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to learn a little bit more about this stuff, feel free to reach out. Uh, but that's, that's my spotlight. All right, guys, I hope all is well. I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy and get out. Enjoy this awesome sunshine because I am.